Pastor Jennifer, and we want to thank you for joining us for another episode of Meet Me in the Break Room. I have with me today uh, Minister Joshua McLean, and I specifically asked Joshua to come and be with us today uh, for several reasons. So Joshua, we are in the midst of this pandemic. Um, we have seen uh, such a season of loss. Uh, so many people have lost loved ones, whether it be from COVID-19 or whether it be from other things that have been happening, you know, heart attacks, strokes, yes. uh, people just, just dying of, of old age, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, different things going on around the world. And uh, one of the things that I teach and preach as a pastor mm -hmm. is preparation. That's you right. know, part of our love for our loved ones is yes. not leaving them with a legacy of debt. Um, I think unless you just had no other way around it, you should not leave your family having to do GoFundMe pages right. and uh, trying to take up collections at funerals to bury That's a right. loved one. Yes. And specifically, I asked you to come today because I was recently um, helping a seasoned saint uh, who is in the latter years of their life trying to um, get a burial policy. Mm -hmm. And so we went through several companies uh, trying to get a burial policy, but because um, this person is elderly and, and very much underweight, mm -hmm. uh, we were not able to get them covered through some of the conventional life insurance policies. And I was able to get one with you. Yes. And, um, and so I wanted to really bring you, because we've seen, like I said, a lot of death during this time mm -hmm. and so many times people don't get insurance because they think it's not affordable mm -hmm. they think that it's not available for them maybe they did try to get it through another company maybe they they failed mm -hmm. um, the physical some companies do physicals uh, maybe they're not in great overall health maybe yes. they feel like they're too old mm -hmm. to get a policy now and so I just kind of want to talk about some of those questions and so I'm excited to have you here today so first of all I want you to tell me what types of insurance you offer well, basically, I'm a broker, so I work, okay. work with all kinds of different companies. Um, I do life, I do health, I do home, I do auto, we do renters. Mm -hmm. But basically, the main thing we try to make sure we do is have something affordable for the client. Because right. Right. Um, what I look at, especially seniors as well, mm -hmm. seniors are, are definitely a great priority as well right now. Right. And right now, due to COVID-19 going on, what I've been finding in my research that a lot of insurance companies now are looking at it kind of different a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm giving a waiting period on COVID-19. Okay. And so what I try to do is express more of awareness mm -hmm. to people of getting insurance early. Right. Before they get themselves into a uh, a bad diagnosis as well. Right. But we still try to make sure it's affordable. That's mm -hmm. the key is that like some plans are 7000 maybe $40 a month. Mm -hmm. Just try to make sure something affordable mm -hmm. that they can actually have as well too. Okay, so so let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk, number one, if somebody says, I just want a basic policy mm -hmm. to know that if I passed, you know, uh, my spouse or my children wouldn't be having to, you know, go into savings or they wouldn't have to go get a loan at the bank. Mm -hmm. um, how much should a basic burial policy be? If you're not trying to you know, just, just <laughs> roll out the red carpet. Mm -hmm. How much can you do a nice funeral for? Got it. Depending on the person's uh, age mm -hmm. and their, um, their health condition wise mm -hmm. for us, what their budget level is. Mm -hmm. We try to go by that, but a basic burial, you can get an $8,500, um, life insurance policy for mm -hmm. like maybe 45 to $50 mm -hmm. a month, you know, okay. just something kind of affordable in that mm -hmm. range. Cause like a lot of times people say they have on their jobs, right. but a lot of times now everybody's trying to get it on the side where they just have it right. strictly just for their burial as well. Mm -hmm. Cause most rentals cost between about $10,000 here in the state of Mississippi mm -hmm. and some range even more. Right. You know? Right. Right. Yeah. I, I know my dad passed in 2011 mm -hmm. and you know, we were amazed that, what it costs just to do basic stuff. I mean, we didn't go over the top with anything, mm -hmm. uh, but just to do what we felt was proper for him, you know, it, it was, was, it gets up there in yes. just, in yes. just a moment mm -hmm. because there's so many things that go along with that yes. that have to be taken care of. So, um, so you have life 
insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, you have health insurance. Health insurance. Is All right. Too. So tell us a little bit about the health insurances that you offer. The health insurance market is more like the Ambetter and different companies like Molina, mm -hmm. um, different companies like that. Um, we have National General, different companies. Um, basically, with the health insurance, it kind of works different with each person mm -hmm. um, because of the health insurance market right now. It's kind of like a little bit outrageous right now. Mm -hmm. But I think once um, most people get their health insurance normally in the November area because they want to mm -hmm. get it before Open the it season. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you got some people that want health insurance. They want some dental. They want yep. some vision. They want right. some. So we have something to kind of offer them in those levels as well. They want just a regular dental plan or they want something to help them with their hospital. Mm -hmm. just, cause it's, just in case they go in the hospital, they got to pay out their pockets mm -hmm. um, for a daily hospital stay. So we have things like that too as well for them. Okay. And then you also offer home and auto. Yes. So let's let's talk about that because <laughs> we, we live in Mississippi. So Mississippi does require mm -hmm. you to have automobile insurance. Yes. Um, and so let's talk about what all you offer as yes. it relates to that. With the home and auto as well. Um, everything, what I'm learning is that when I actually went through my classes and stuff through the state of Mississippi with mm -hmm. my teacher, mm -hmm. he was like, well, Joshua, you've been doing the life insurance for a while. But he said, now when you get into home and auto, mm -hmm. it's all the credit base. Mm -hmm. I said, what? Everything's going to be credit base. You're going to see, mm -hmm. you got to put that social security numbers in, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, um, there are so many people that really want the home insurance, but can't get the home insurance. So mm -hmm. we work with different carriers and stuff. Mm -hmm. I remember one lady was in, um... Prentice, Mississippi, mm -hmm. when the storm hit back here a couple of uh, months ago, uh -huh. um, they lost their whole church and everything else. Wow. Mm -hmm. And um, she was saying that um, years ago, she had tried to get um, mo mobile home insurance. Mm -hmm. And she said that everybody kept turning her down, turning her down, turning mm -hmm. her down. So she got in my car. She was like, just come and see me. Mm -hmm. And so when I when I put the application in with the, with the home insurance company, um, they said, if you don't mind, can you actually drive out there and see her house? Mm -hmm, I said, mm -hmm. well, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. So um, she said she had four rooms that had got um, burnt up in a fire. Mm -hmm. So her and her husband, they kind of remodeled their trailer mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. did all kind of fronts and everything on mm -hmm. it. But we actually got her covered. Wow. Um, I mean, and she... Everybody was telling her to wait five years, mm -hmm. but she said, well, something happens where right. I don't have anything. Five years is a long time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we kind of deal with a credit base when it comes to the home and the auto. Okay. Um, and sometimes what I found out that her credit was a little bit, um, her, her husband's credit was stronger. Mm -hmm. So basically it went through on him gotcha. versus her gotcha. because she had a little bit more mm -hmm. things on her credit versus the um, husband did. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then renter's insurance, that's very important to have yes. if you're renting from someone and you had a fire or you're renting from someone mm -hmm. and had a flood, um, they don't always have coverage to cover you yes. and your stuff. And so that's where renter's insurance is, is, um, yes. a blessing that's to have. So, um, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, runners insurance, um, just being here in the state of Mississippi, definitely in the Hines County area, I see so many uh, people just renting as well. Renting is like a big thing now. Right. A lot of people try to rent because they want to make sure that they can kind of get themselves prepared mm -hmm. to buy a house and stuff Carry like the that. Load. But yeah. the thing is that, you know, when storms come through, when things happen mm -hmm. and it messes your contents up within your place, you got to mm -hmm. go back and buy all right. that stuff over again. Right. Like my brother was telling me how when he was in Texas mm -hmm. and how he had a, uh, he didn't have runner's insurance when he mm -hmm. first got his first apartment. Mm -hmm. And he said the next time he got runner's insurance, mm -hmm. and he said he was able to get a check and be able to, you know, right. take, care cover, take care of everything and all that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. runner's insurance, we have one that's really amazing. Um, rental policies of 30000 can range for like maybe like $40 a month, mm -hmm, which mm -hmm. is really good. Mm -hmm. The good thing about it has additional living expenses. So that mm -hmm. means that if the person's house is uh, apartment is destroyed, they can't get back into their place, mm -hmm. it'll get them like an extra $4,000 for additional living expense. Okay. To help them so that means that they've got to go and stay in a hotel for yes. a period of time. Or if they're staying with family members, they can yes. get their basic necessities, their basic necessities. Until, until other things come through. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really good. One of the things we've talked about before is that, um, you know, one situation can throw a family into a cycle of poverty. Yes. Uh, whether it be the loss of the main breadwinner, mm -hmm. whether it be, you know, um, 
two or three people die close together mm -hmm. or, you know, one event, whether it be a car accident and the car is totaled. Mm -hmm. Now you're without transportation or whether it be, you know, um, a loved one has passed. One event mm -hmm. can throw a whole family into a cycle of poverty. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's much easier to come up with $40 a month than it is to come up with ten thousand dollars, you know, in a week yes. for a funeral, or easier to come up with forty or fifty dollars a month to mm -hmm. cover a car, yes. you know, rather than be without transportation, lose your job because mm -hmm. you didn't have it, those kinds of things. So I'm I'm a big proponent of insurance unless you're a millionaire if you're a millionaire you don't need life insurance because <laughs> you can pay for that yeah you know if you're a millionaire there's certain things you don't need but mm -hmm. the majority of us are not walking around yes. at millionaire status yet yeah uh and so while we're in the meantime yes uh it's good to yes. cover uh the things that god has blessed you with um let's talk a little bit more about that burial policy because the one that I was able to get for mm -hmm. this individual um, as I was helping him tend to his business was he was able to get one that would cover his casket. It his, would cover his, his headstone, mm -hmm. his vault, yes. um, the whole thing. And so let, none of us are trying to, to get up out of here today, uh, <laughs> yes. but I've, I've heard it said quite often, everybody wants to go to heaven, but ain't nobody trying to go now. That's right. Uh, but what we do understand is that it has been appointed to mm -hmm. all of us Yes. That at some point in time, mm -hmm. we're going to get up out of here. That's you know? right. Uh, none of us know the day. None of us know the hour. Mm -hmm. um, and death comes to visit people of all ages. You yes. know, I, I have preached funerals of infants. I have preached funerals of uh, children that were under 10. Mm -hmm. I have preached the funerals of teenagers. Uh, I have preached the funerals of people who were minding their own business and were innocent bystanders, but just like that, their life was taken out. Yes. I've, I've preached the funerals of those who were well up in age. I've, I've preached funerals of people who had car accidents. I mean, anything can happen at any time. Mm -hmm. And so it pays us to be prepared. Yes. And um, so let's talk a little bit more about that Um that burial policy okay. and kind of just talk about what all it covers. And I know you have different companies, yes. but let's kind of talk about what all is offered through The burial that. policy is really good. Um, matter of fact, with that a company as well, um, it gives you the casket, the vault, the headstone, all mm -hmm. in one package deal. Mm -hmm. So it saves over like $7,000 off your actual funeral. Right, Like right. an actual casket, a funeral home is about between, I would give it a take, seven to eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars maybe for a casket mm -hmm. and so a casket with them is only fifteen hundred mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. the vaults are normally a little bit more expensive as well mm -hmm. but they start at 750 mm -hmm. then you got your headstone starting at 1200 okay but the good thing about it is that it's like a pre-need plan mm -hmm. and so when you actually pick out your plan that you actually want mm -hmm. um then it all comes together with your life insurance policy so mm -hmm. it's like you're wanting whatever well, kind of cast you want whatever you want and basically it's a it's a great value mm -hmm. um because I know uh, when my wife's uh, grandma had passed as well, I think the funeral was, was ranging a little bit up there as well. Mm -hmm. But to get a funeral affordable range mm -hmm. where everything is right there together mm -hmm. is amazing. It's amazing. And so, and so with this policy, mm -hmm. they can choose whatever funeral home they want to yes. use. Yes. And they can choose whatever cemetery they want to yes. use. And then there's a selection of caskets they can choose from. Mm -hmm. A selection of vaults that they can choose from, yes. and then a selection of headstones that yes. they can choose from. So mm -hmm. it's a a one package deal. Yes, and it's something for the whole entire family as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially with senior life, they have all kind of great stuff for um, individuals, for mm -hmm. for children, for everybody. Mm -hmm. But I think the good thing about it, they can add, um, I think, four people, additional okay. people for that. Mm -hmm. They the same exact discount. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about it, though, is when a person passes away. Mm -hmm. um, they can ship out their casket, their mm -hmm, vault, mm -hmm. their headstones for the home. So versus a person trying to run to the funeral home right. and say, we need this, we need mm -hmm, this. So mm -hmm. it's already being shipped to the funeral home. Gotcha. And that program actually just came back to the state of Mississippi, I think, was this past year. Okay. I had left like a couple of years. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I think they got it back in place, which was, I think, this year of February, I think. Okay. And it came back in place. And I think it's a great thing for the whole community to be able to have as well. So let me ask you this. Have you had anybody who's who's had to call and make a claim on their policy. Yes. And did everything go smoothly for you? Yes. Them? Um, matter of fact, I got one testimony now. I think she's um, out of the Moss Point area, Mississippi, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, with Bishop Eric Brown, mm -hmm, his mm -hmm. church's ministry. 
He had invited me on a Wednesday night to come out mm-hmm. and help his church with insurance. And mm-hmm. I went out there and did it. Mm-hmm. And not knowing that her brother would pass away two weeks ago. Wow. And she was like, Joshua, I just thank you for coming. Yeah. She yeah. said, cause everything worked out smoothly. Mm-hmm. I mean, she said, this is the first funeral that we didn't mm-hmm. have to like try to go have to raise money and all that. Right. Everything just fell mm-hmm. in line, you know, mm-hmm. she said, cause most of the funerals that she's had is, mm-hmm. and then like she told me the other day, she said, up my policy. Yeah. Since all this paid out, mm-hmm. she said, I know y'all was taking out there for my brother. Just mm-hmm. go ahead and do another policy now. So mm-hmm. it means a lot to have that coverage there for the right. family and stuff like that too. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you know, anytime you lose a loved one, it, you're dealing with grief, you're dealing with hurt, you're dealing with, you know, depending on how it happened, mm-hmm. you know, if it was unexpected, mm-hmm. um, you know, a tragic accident, those kinds of things, you're already having to deal with so many emotions. Yes. And this is something that you can do for the people you love mm-hmm. to not also add to that, mm-hmm. you know, the pressure of not knowing how you're going to get this done. Yes. You know, and uh, so I think that it's it's beautiful and something I really want to encourage every family mm-hmm. uh, to look into because yes. it's it's part of our responsibility as believers. I believe. Yes. Uh, the Bible says that a righteous man leaves an inheritance not just to his children but mm-hmm. to his children's children. Yes. But so many times, instead of looking to position our children Mm -hmm. to start better than we started and to go further than we have gone. Mm -hmm. We leave them with a legacy of debt and we leave them with, you know, and and, and it's just not biblical. And that's not Mm -hmm. me trying to put anybody under condemnation. Mm -hmm. Uh, But so many times what we spend on a pair of shoes, what we spend on something that is not increasing in value, something that's not even going to, you know, a car, if you go buy a car off the lot, it's not not even worth what you paid for right. it by the time you drive off, you know. Mm-hmm. And so, so many times we're we're investing into things that don't invest back into mm-hmm. us. Yes. We're investing in things that don't um, appreciate with time. Yes, we're investing in depreciating things. Mm-hmm. And so, I really want people to begin to shift and change their mindset. Yes, you know, and let us focus our attention and our investments into things that appreciate into yes. things that increase in value yes. and into things that will leave our loved ones covered mm-hmm. should anything happen with us. Yes. And uh so I'm I'm grateful for the work that you do. Oh, uh, I've you. watched you for many years and that's what made me even be willing to to call you and to mm-hmm. purchase a policy from you for this uh elderly gentleman um because I had watched your work ethic. I had watched uh, how hard you would work, how far you would travel, yes. you know, your your immediate response when people would call. And um, this is a ministry in and of itself mm-hmm. it uh, to, to give people the assurance mm-hmm. that, you know, they're covered and that their families are covered. And so um, if people want more information, if they want to call you, mm-hmm. whether it be for health insurance, whether it be for life insurance, mm-hmm. whether it be for burial, mm-hmm. whether it's for uh, renter's insurance yes. or for auto insurance, home coverage, um, Medicare, Medicare. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. That's something we haven't talked about. Yes. Um, tell us how you can get people connected to that. Who's eligible? Yes. And and what all do you offer? With the Medicare as well, normally the person it ranges from the sixty five and um, below. Basically, they mm-hmm. have like a They've been disabled for like two years. They normally see like a red, white, and blue card. Okay. So this past time last year, that was my first year doing Medicare. Mm-hmm. And it was just a blessing um, because I'm able to sit down with the seniors mm-hmm. and kind of go over their medications, mm-hmm. go over their doctors mm-hmm. to make sure they fall in the right network. Mm-hmm. And so I work with all the providers, Humana, Cigna, everybody out there. Mm-hmm. But the main thing I try to make, focus on is making sure that, you know, that their prescription can be covered. Because mm-hmm, a lot of times mm-hmm. uh, seniors have to go through all kind of stuff trying to pay for their medicines. Absolutely. Um, they, they have to go to the doctor over and over again. Mm-hmm. And we even have one where they can get acute stay. So, like, let's say okay. we had a senior um, that um, had to go in the hospital. Mm-hmm. They can get, like, 14 meals. Okay, at okay. Their, at their home for acute stay. Okay, You know, okay. so a lot of um, 
the Medicare, it kind of works different with each with each client. Right, right, right. But right now, it's the LIS moment okay. for low-income subsidy people. Uh-huh. And we have people that's dual SNP in Mississippi. Mm-hmm. That's like people that special needs people. Mm-hmm. You know, they can't really afford. They got a right. low income level mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. But Medicare is really great. Um, like I said, it, but it, it's like a bridge to be able to bring those proper providers in mm-hmm. to be able to give people that security they need as well, too. Very good. Mm-hmm. So what I'm hearing is that Insurance is not a one size fits all. And so that's where you come in yes. in talking to that individual one on one, finding out what their situation is yes. and from there determining what their needs are. Yes. And then you can give them options mm-hmm. based on what they're able to afford yes. and what their station is in Yeah, it's just the affordability stuff. I had like yeah. one lady she was telling me how she had like I think all her meds. She was like on twenty medications almost. Wow! And she was telling me if you can help me save on my medications, yeah, then hopefully I can open up like uh, get get with you in a couple more months and call mm-hmm. you for life yeah. insurance. So uh-huh. we was able to get her something that was affordable. Right. We got her medicines down. Mm-hmm. She was saying like I think a specialist. And I mm-hmm. think she was paying almost three hundred to four hundred dollars a month. Mm-hmm. So now she's not spending anything for a specialist. Wow! So all that money is coming back in to yeah. be able to help her as well. Yeah, that's a blessing right mm-hmm. there. That's a game changer yes. for sure. So if people want to contact you, uh, Joshua, how can they contact you? They go to my website. Okay. It's um, www.umbrellahelp.com. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's the website. Umbrellahelp.com. Yes. Tell us about that umbrella, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, you know, years ago, I was kind of seeking the Lord on how he really wanted me to be. Mm-hmm. And because I would have run all my license and one day the Lord told me, you the umbrella. You mm-hmm. are the umbrella for the community mm-hmm. where they can run to, get mm-hmm. the help they need, mm-hmm. you know, because so many people need that umbrella mm-hmm. to be able to be that help, you yeah. know. So I was sitting in my office a couple weeks ago and I was, I'll be hearing what you be saying on, on mm-hmm. the, mm-hmm. through all the messages you be preaching mm-hmm. about how you just think of my stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting there and God said, umbrellahelp.com. So said, you're the shelter in the time of storm. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a blessing, you know, because yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. to be that umbrella, so many people are going through with their with their um their life right now mm-hmm. they need help in every situation Absolutely. they need somebody who they can run to get the umbrella for that's sure. right and somebody who's willing to take the time that's one thing i really appreciate you uh in some of the people i've sent to you mm-hmm. is your willingness to be so patient and yes. to sit down and to really hear their situation and to talk to them mm-hmm. and then really try to determine um what's best for them and, and that's one thing i can say i've never seen you uh, mishandle or mistreat somebody yes. because you were trying to make a dollar. That's right. Uh, I've always seen you do what was best for that person, mm-hmm. knowing that if you do right by God's people, God will always do right, right. by you. Yes. And uh, so, so I very, very much appreciate that. Thank you. And so, if they want to, they can come to Umbrella Help. Dot com. com and so you um let's let's say sometimes I see even maybe our younger people they're out on their own mm-hmm. uh, maybe they're in their twenties but they're not at home mom and daddy mm. don't have them covered anymore they're in their twenties they're early thirties so they feel like they're young they're strong they're mm-hmm. healthy and that's why I see many times get caught. Uh, without insurance, whether it be without insurance on their vehicle, yes. uh, without renter's insurance, some of those kinds of things. So mm-hmm. who needs insurance? Everybody needs insurance. Everybody, Everybody need, needs insurance. Everybody needs it. Yeah, um, yeah. The thing is that, though, what I'm looking at, though, a lot of young people, mm-hmm. uh, we take out more term policies because we're yeah. more younger. Right, right. So we take out like um, 100000 um because mm-hmm. they try to get something that's – because what I look at, they'll say – if you have a family mm-hmm. and you have to leave out of here, yeah. do you have enough right. to cover that family? So right. if I look at a 30-year-old and he comes about for insurance for his for his wife and his two kids, mm-hmm. so I look at, okay, sir, you're 30 years old. Mm-hmm. Let's at least try to do a $150,000 policy on you. Right, right. That way your wife is that, you know, mm-hmm. she's not having to worry about if something wants to happen, right. that nobody's in that in that. It bind. makes up for that loss of income, yes. at least for a season, yes. until they can figure something else out. Or mm-hmm. it provides a cushion to be able to put some money away for the children's education. Yes. Um, and, and that's just really the mindset I feel people need to be in, in mm-hmm. this season, where there is so much change, where there mm-hmm. are so many unknowns. 
Um, you know, I, we were talking a while back about uh, people grieving and not even realizing they're grieving the loss of what was. Yes. They're, they're grieving the loss of being able to plan things out a year mm -hmm. in advance. We're grieving the loss of even being able to plan, you know, something as simple as, you know, a, a family reunion or a graduation yes. or because yes. we just don't know right now mm -hmm. from month to month what COVID-19 looks like. Yes. And so for for me, I'm really trying to shift people's mind, not into a state of fear, mm -hmm. but pushing people into thinking ahead what does it look like to have your family covered? What does yes. it look like to have, you know, and so I believe people need to be saving everything they can save mm -hmm. right now. I believe people need to be planning for the unexpected, making sure they've got their bases covered as mm -hmm. it relates to having some savings, having, you know, insurance should anything happen. Yes. Uh, I just believe that those things are very important. They've always mm -hmm. been important, but even that much more in this environment that we're living in right now. We're dealing with not just a local pandemic, we're dealing with a global a pandemic. Global pandemic yes. You know, uh, every nation is being affected. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I appreciate you taking the time to come in today. Do you have anything else that you want to share with us before we go? Well, I just, it's a, it's a, op a great opportunity for me to come today. Um, definitely just a blessing to be able to help the people of God. And um, it's just, to be in that umbrella, being there to help them, support them, yes. being able to show them, okay, this is what, this is how this goes, how this goes, and being able to educate, educate right. them on insurance. Because right. one thing about me, I don't try to sell a policy mm -hmm. or try to sell insurance. I try to make sure we educate them because right. education is the key to mm -hmm. anything that you're trying to do. You know? That's right. That's right. It's mm -hmm. important to have an understanding. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Well, Joshua, I appreciate your time. Again, if you want to contact Joshua McLean for any questions, whether it be Medicaid, Medicare, whether it be uh, life insurance, health insurance, burial insurance, uh, auto, home, uh, renters, whatever, Joshua is your man. So um, you can contact him by going to Umbrella Help dot com and there you'll find his website and a way to contact him yes so all right well we thank you i pray that you've got some good information today i pray that you are more informed now than you were when we started and so we're looking for uh you to reach out to him if he can help you with any of those needs look i want to thank you for taking the time to meet us in the break room and i want you to reach out and see us again next week same time same station. Until then, our sincere prayer is God's absolute best be yours in every area of your life. God bless you. Have a great rest of the week.